All right, today we're going to be looking at a little bit more in depth of a walkthrough for the human digestive system gizmo. So, initially, what we start off with, as we went through in class, we have down here the different organs the mouth pharynx, esophagus, large intestine, small intestine, duodenum, rectum anus, small intestine, jejunum ileum, and finally the stomach. Uh, a little bit more in depth. This section here, the jejunum and the ileum, this is what makes up the majority of the length of the digestive system. This is up to six meters in full-grown adults. That is over 18 feet. Actually, that's getting very, very close to 20 feet overall in length. So with the war uh, we also have the small organs here, chief cells, parietal cells, gallbladder, pancreas, salivary glands, capillaries, lymphatic systems. Again, there are questions where you'll have to see what they do. And as you go over each one, you can see a brief description of what they all do. Here we have our food tab where you can look at the different uh, types of food and how the body goes through and uses them. And finally, the analysis. This is where it shows you starting off with the food, how many carbohydrates, sugars, proteins, amino acids, fats, fatty acids, and water is available, how much current as the food is going through or when it's finally expelled at the end, and how much is absorbed. So in the walkthrough, what we are looking at is they have a few basic questions. Why do we need to eat food? Pretty obvious, you eat food so that you can get energy, so that your cells are able to get the materials they need to build new cells. Uh, how does our food break it down? Well, we all know about chewing. So you start by chewing it up. We all know that our stomachs are full of acid where it starts to get dissolved. In this one, we're gonna learn more about how it is processed throughout the remainder of these organs though. Uh, we also have an example given in the gizmo for mechanical digestion. It's where food is broken down by moving, squeezing, grinding. The example given there is peristalsis. This is as it's moved down the esophagus. Chemical digestion, broken down through some type of fluid, enzyme, acid, something like that. Uh, an example would be saliva. Uh, the first questions there on the warm-up are asking you, where are nutrients absorbed? Well, as we go through each, you can see that they give us little bits of information. In the small intestine, oh, pass through the walls. That would be absorbed. Again, right here, absorbed nutrients and water. Which organ compacts waste before it's eliminated? Again, we'll read through and you'll see which one it is. Which organs use enzymes or acids to break down food? Well, we'd look for either large or small that give acids, enzymes, and other things else that help to break it down. All right, now looking at the activities. Activity A, more questions, uh, starting off with what absorbs water, vitamin K, what produces enzymes, tiny blood vessels that transport nutrients. With this one here, we need to create a digestive system. So we're gonna throw some pieces up here. You don't have to know the order. You can tinker around with it. If you go through and find out that it doesn't absorb enough food, it doesn't absorb enough nutrients, when you get to the analysis, pull pieces off, rearrange it, okay? This is one of the nice things about doing these gizmos is that we can get an idea of how things are manipulated without actually, you know, cutting somebody open and sewing things in in different places. It's very messy. And unlike in this gizmo, people tend to die when you do that. So we're not going to be doing that in real life. We can use this gizmo for it. You can practice putting the small organs in different places and seeing how it functions. So next we're going to go ahead. Uh, you're going to take a picture of this once you get it done. To do that, we go up here, tools, we do a screenshot. There's our screenshot. Now, you can do this, get a picture, by doing 
believe on your Chromebooks, it is control and click to do a right click. Or I think it's just the click with two fingers and it does it as well. We want to copy the image and then we'll go ahead and paste it inside of the document itself. Next question is asking you to predict how you think this digestive system is going to work. I'm going to tell you this, I don't have a lot of faith in how I set this one up, so probably not very well. You're then going to run the gizmo, see some things that happened, and then rearrange it. Clear the screen, start over again. Big hint I'm going to give you. Mouth at this end, rectum anus at this end. Figure out the stuff in the middle. Activity B is looking at mechanical versus chemical digestion. So with this one, you're going to view the analysis. They have you set it up. It tells you to set up the digestive system with the mouth, with the salivary glands, the esophagus, pancreas, and rectum. It says as shown above, well, shown below it should be. And we have the stomach. So we have the picture there. All right. Oh, no, 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 I was correct. So we set it up like this, and then it says to get the baked potato. You'll do the baked potato, and you'll run it through and see what happens. We're looking at how much stuff is absorbed. Next, it's telling you what the pancreas does, and so you're creating another digestive system. This time, we're doing like I tried to do, where we have the stomach. And then you'll go through and do that one again. You're looking at putting it together. The final question on here, and this is our big question. This is the one that we call the race questions. This is restate, answer, cite, and explain. This is where you're setting up the digestive system as they've given you in the gizmo small organs. We've got the salivary gland. We've got parietal cells, chief cells, our pancreas. We have a capillary, a capillary, a capillary, lymphatic vessel, lymphatic vessel, and then the gallbladder. And now with this one here, we're going to do the cheeseburger and you need to describe what happens. So I'll put this cheeseburger here. We're then going to let it run. Remember, you can pause the video anytime on, on your end, and you can see all the information. And as we look at our an analysis at the end of it, we see 58% of the calories were absorbed, 94.69% of the water was absorbed, solid stool, 21.6 calories did not enter the bloodstream because of missing capillaries or lymphatic vessels. So we've set this one up and we can experiment and see how it can be fixed. All right, good luck. Make sure you get this done.